So they ought to be up in mess up here, but I want to be up here, but I want to be 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 here, uh place here as well uh is that right now yeah mm. i think that's why the previous time i played genshin was like that or the audio messed up because not only the mic was that usually goes to the video was like that my feedback was also going, so that was a problem I didn't have when I was streaming on the TV. But yeah, I don't think I'll take that long today. I'm just gonna complete the event. Uh, so I gotta go... How do I go there? Uh, I never return. Can I... Oh, okay, they'll... oh, let's start part here. Let's check here. There's that bow as well that I want to fully upgrade it. I mean, I probably won't have enough materials to bring it to level 90, but I'll, I should be able to refine it to the maximum. I still playing, intend to play tomorrow uh, Breath of the Wild and start my core hunt. Oh. Oh, it's kind of like the entrance to Economia. Oh, it's a wall. Oh, you could let me jump there and then auto teleport me. Yeah, and I, I hate those combat challenges. There's a good chance. I'm gonna fail eventually. Uh, wait till the next day. How many days have I passed since I started this event? Not like we ditched him for a week before teleports. Uh, oh, hope yeah. Paimon longs to stretch her legs and run free in the world outside again. You mean fly? Oh, all right, fly free then. Basically, Paimon just wants out of here. Uh, somebody, Albedo, should study Paimon better. Nobody cares about a floating child like that, as if it was something normal. Just like that, a whole day has gone by. A whole week a has gone by. No, it feels like we've been down here for months. Uh, maybe not months, but at least like 20 days, surely. Mm, yo, yo, thought I heard you chatting over here. Oh, hey, Bullchucker. Well, everyone, I just completed another survey of the surrounding area. Still nothing has changed today. Here, have some water and take a rest. Thank you, Shinobu. <sighs> it's easy to forget to keep hydrated down here. Where if you want? Uh, out! I want out! All I want is to cruise the streets and have beetle fights again. Boss, remember there's your image to consider. But it's so boring. Walking around this hole every day, I, if only I could slurp some ramen and see the beautiful flowers again. Ramen? Wait a minute. Speaking of ramen, Traveler, are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Not really. I'm not hungry either. But let me pose the question this way. Who is the biggest eater among us? Paimon. It's definitely not me. 
Pas mon bébé. Hey, what's everybody looking at me for? Well, it's definitely not me. If anyone, it's this one right here. Huh? What are you looking at Paimon for? Paimon. Emergency meal. Are you hungry? Um, no. Paimon's not hungry. Why do you ask? Huh? <sighs> if that's the case. Huh? What? 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 What am I missing here? I must say, she feels like it's me in these ten days. Yes, I heard that too as I was walking over. The question is, how can you not feel hungry even after twenty days? And I feel like it's been only. That's also day. strange. Of course, everyone has different perceptions of the passage of time, but how could one person feel like it's only been one day and someone else twenty days? Yeah, now that you mention it, I feel like we've been here three, four, five days, but. I don't feel hungry or thirsty at all. Although I cooked some food, it wasn't because I was hungry. I just wanted to keep our spirits up. I was planning on saving our rations so we could survive a few more days, but I haven't really felt hungry since. Now that I think about it, not only am I not hungry, but I don't feel any real signs of fatigue either. Whether I sleep or not doesn't seem to have any effect on how I feel. Yes, I concur. Resting doesn't make me feel more refreshed, and staying awake doesn't make me any more tired. Very peculiar. It's almost as if our physical state has been suspended. Oh, the more you say, the scarier it sounds. Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. My other show is experiencing the same phenomenon. Huh? What's wrong, Traveler? Did you think of something? That's pretty weird. Sounds like the little dude must be in danger. But he is an adeptus. This kind of situation should be no trouble for him. I fear that this problem underground is bigger than we thought. I found something, everyone. I just discovered a new path over there that seems to lead to an unknown area. You mean a way out? Oh, finally! Come on, so time space, and they found a new. Oh, please, please be the exit! I still suspect things can't be that simple. And there's water here. We should all stay prepared for whatever comes. Huh? Paimon doesn't see anything out of the ordinary here. Appearances can be deceiving. As I was examining the wall just now, I noticed there was something unusual about this stone. Seems to me that it's been created using some illusory magic. Hidden behind it lies a passageway. So there really is a path behind here. Gotta hand it to ya. That sure wasn't easy to find. But at least we can finally get out of here. Miss Yelon's determination and eye for detail are certainly impressive. Not to mention, you've hardly had any rest the whole time we've been trapped here. It doesn't matter. I'm not tired. <sighs> well, given we're already here, we might as well go in and explore. Right behind ya! Paimon can't wait to get out of this place! Got a proper waypoint. I said... That was the teleport. Oh, okay, I think now I can teleport. Maybe I could have... the cutscene. Obviously. Oh, number one. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I opened Kishin today. I didn't have her. She's still underdeveloped, so she's just around for the friendship uh, level. Uh, the symbols of the platforms will have different colors and images. Smashing them together seems to be the key to solving the puzzle. If you step on the correct symbol, it will be activated, but if you take damage, you'll take damage if you step on the wrong one. Okay. Search for and activate all symbols on the platform to solve the puzzle. A blade hey. is like a tea leaf. Only those who sample it many times can appreciate its true qualities. Mm -hmm. 
So, what? What I do now? Oh! The word's starting, not me. Lucy, is that you? Hey, did anyone else just hear that voice? It sounded super creepy. Uh, uh, it's so tiny on my screen. Okay, it's this one. It's the same as this. What are those two things? Excuse me, I don't step on the others. And that? Oh, hey. I will have order. Coming down to art. Sumetsu, my apologies. Yahoo! shapers on the platform will shine unique beams of light upon the platform opposite to them. Operate this device to control the position and direction of the beams of light. Uh, yeah. The light shapers may be used to cast their light upon the large symbols on the platform opposite to them, thereby activating those symbols. Uh, um, activating all the large symbols seems to be the key solving the puzzle. So, uh, ah, okay, it didn't. Oh, can I? Oh, uh, oh, it's so slow. Uh, okay. Got it. Now, I don't need to go there. Uh, just want to see. It's hard for me to see the symbols. Not playing full screen in the moment, and I don't have such a large. Wait, hit touch. me! Don't fight! Is some sort of battle taking place here? I wonder who could be involved. Okay, it seems to be this one. Solidify. Think you can get away? My apologies. Cut to the chase. Thanks, you so much. Sakura swirl. Yeah. Take flight. Yeah. 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 Stabilize. Let's go to the next one. Oh. No, it's still 
alive. Why would you become like this? I won't attack you. That sounds like Shu. Uh. Could he be in trouble? Whoa, sounds like someone forgot to invite us to the fight. Let's go and help him. Yeah, but how are we going to find him? So, oh no, I, I can not stop. There was the legend of Adeptus locks in here, so that's probably uh, who she all found out. Stabilize! Order guide you! Brace yourselves! Whirling snow! <laughs> With sword from shadow! Solidify! Time for takeoff. Take flight. I'm always missing this. Thank you, dispatch. Whirling snow. Solidify! I will have order! Coming so to art! Sumetsu! Oh, for us. Take flight! Yahoo! Think you can get away? Nowhere to hide! Gather! My apologies! of light going around. Alright, now I have to go back there. Or will we unlock a cross from it already? Called Shao down there? We gotta help him. Hold on. Something's not right here. What's this? It appears to be a small fissure. What can you possibly find inside? It can't be a living person, can it? <laughs> <gasps> Conqueror of demons? Shao, is that you? Uh, oh, I quit trying to scare us, okay? Huh? Wait, is this some kind of illusion? Paimon can't touch him! Conqueror of Demons, can you hear us? Hello! Little dude! 
Anyone home? He isn't responding. What's going on here? You. Oh, he finally said something. Oh. We followed your voice and found you here. But it's kind of strange. We can't touch you. How did you become an illusion? <sighs> an illusion? Talk about a coincidence. We were just thinking you went missing and stuff, and then we heard the sound of you fighting. Pretty lucky we found you, if you ask me. <laughs> you didn't get hurt, did you? A coincidence? Wait. Something's not right. <laughs> Something's wrong with this domain. Leave now! Get out of there! If he can, we should have him regroup with us as soon as possible. Tell us what happened, and where you are now. We'll come find you immediately. No. Your safety is the top priority. It seems this space can... Huh? He disappeared. Where'd he go? It sounded like he might be injured. We need to go help him. It seems the only option we have to explore any further is through that entrance over there. Ha! <laughs> He's injured and telling us to be careful? It's not like we're in any danger here. Anyway, the secret behind whatever's going on should be in this cave, right? Don't worry, little dude. Ito's on the way! Boss, please don't go charging ahead. You're an Oni, not some hunting dog. Don't worry! I'm invincible! Oh, my butt! <sighs> Looks pretty deep. Be careful, everyone. What? You can cry if it hurts. I promise I'll try not to laugh. What? What do you mean, try not to laugh? You should be feeling some serious sympathy for me right now. But wouldn't feeling sorry for you be a violation of your dignity? Besides, it's harder not to laugh when I'm not the one in pain. Don't laugh. <laughs> it's okay, everybody. If you want to laugh at him, just let it out. Don't you have a heart, Shinobu? Oh, and people think I'm the monster. Wait a second. Shao's not here, but... Or... Seems a little out of place here, don't you think? No. Maybe it's some sort of... Uh, I don't know, an emergency shelter? There was a picture book I read once that said nice people sometimes build cabins in dangerous places so that anyone in trouble can take shelter inside. Our a little dude book. must be inside then. Yeah! I wouldn't be too sure about that. Any person with a normal sense of danger wouldn't be so optimistic. Wow, Bullchucker! Looks like your subordinate is telling you what's what. Oh, I believe she was talking to both of us. Yeah, so you can wipe that smug smile off your face. All right, watch and learn, Shinobu. This is why I'm the boss and you're the deputy. If no one is macho enough to open the door, then allow me. Step aside. Once this door's open, we are out of here. The timing is so off of those cutscenes. Hmm. Mine? Car. What's that? Eveloni, be gone! You heard me! Get out of here! 
Uh, uh, guy from... Uh, am I seeing things? Or was there someone behind the door? Guy from you and knows about the findings. Nah, can't be. You're just saying things. Why don't we just open the door again and see? Who? Uh, me? Oh, uh, <laughs> alright, uh, I'll open it again. All you do is goof around all day. You're a bad influence to our child. Be gone! Oh. Oh, so maybe this is about Those his people pests. are carrying bowls. Bowls full of beans. What's that all about? People throw beans to drive out Oni. Boss is an Oni, so they throw beans at him to get rid of him. Gave me the fright of my life! What are people from Inazuma doing in a place like this anyway? <laughs> Calm down now. You're a person from Inazuma too, you know. Hey, let's get one thing straight, all right? I'm not a person, I'm an Oni! Right, but that's Onyar not the people. point. The question is, does this door lead to Inazuma? Huh? How could that be possible? Ugh, this place is so weird! Paimon's starting to think it really is haunted! Uh, open the door again and see if anything changes. No. You guys go right Other ahead. People. I'm not opening it Should again. Try. So, who's up? Oh, how about Paimon? Why don't you open it? Hmm? No way! Somebody else do it! Paimon's scared! No, we know nothing about her post. Alright, I'll try. That's our Shinobu! Now, don't let whoever's behind that door push you around, okay? Alright, let's see what's behind the door this time. Still reading, Shinobu. Listen, young lady, you should keep your nose out of those books and start taking my advice. I've already found you a perfectly good job as a shrine maiden at the Grand Narukami Shrine. You'll be far better off there than... <laughs> so, despite her name, uh, she's an ninja. No way! Was that who I think it was? Oh, this is embarrassing. That voice was my mother. This is one place I wasn't counting on having to hear that speech again. Your mother wanted you to become a shrine maiden? The whole reason I came to study in Liyue was because I didn't want to become a shrine maiden. My family never approved of my studies, so they wanted me to work in the Grand Narukami Shrine after I returned to Inazuma. From what we know about Lady Guji, it seems being a shrine maiden is a pretty cushy job. <laughs> Think of it this way. Some cats can be domesticated and kept in the house, while other cats are meant to survive in the wild. As for me, I need complete freedom and space. Although I do admit that being a shrine maiden is a decent job, it's just not for me. That's right, your calling is with the gang. I mean, just look at you! You rock! You're totally hardcore! Come on, am I the only one with chills right now? It's true. You've got a good thing going. What's most important is that you enjoy what you do. Gotta agree with you there. From the look of it, what's behind the door can change. And not only that, it always changes to something that nobody wants to see. So, uh, how are we gonna get through that? Um, and don't forget, we have that little dude waiting for us to save him. We need to get our rear in gear. Would any of you like to give it a try? Mm, no thanks. I'd prefer not to open it if only something terrible awaits. If anyone's going to find a way through, it's not going to be me. Uh, uh so why? She has a dark best. Because I don't buy it, that's why. Mm. I don't believe for one second that we're gonna find the Conqueror of Demons by going through that door. So I'm sure as heck not gonna be the one to get us through. Not gonna lie, uh, you don't really sound like you have much of an imagination. Alright, I'll try. Yeah! My savior, show him what you're made of! I'm sure I probably do, but nothing springs to mind right now. Anyway, I suppose I'll find out once I open the door. You old geezer! Out of eight pounds of salt, today you gave away three for free, sold two, and exchanged three for booze. How much money did you actually make in the end? Huh? 
But didn't you tell me to sell things as I pleased? Why can't I give the customers something for free? You fool! You told the old man next door to come and fetch the salt. Well, he broke his leg on the way over, and now his son is asking for compensation. Seriously. God. Huh? Huh. A civil dispute. Didn't see that coming. Who are they? <sighs> no one in particular, but it is a prime example of the many difficult civil cases that I've had trouble handling before. Hmm. So you mean you don't like handling disputes over petty matters? Not exactly. What I mean is that I don't like working with people who cannot let go of trivial grievances, especially of the kind you saw just now. They start with good intentions, but end up making a big fuss. It's not long before those good intentions plunge into injury and accidents. <sighs> it's always a shame. It's my desire to solve problems for people. That's why I became a legal advisor. It just seems that I still can't fully comprehend the complicated minds of some people. <sighs> I understand what you mean. The human mind is probably both the most complicated and tragic of things. I suppose there's no need to discuss this any further. Does anyone else want to try the door? Don't look at me. I told you, I'm not taking a chance with that thing. Come on, Yelon. We're a team here. If you're not gonna try, then at least give us a convincing reason why. <sighs> In that case, let me be perfectly clear. I serve Ningguang, the Tianxuan of the Qixing. The scope of my work includes some of Li Wei's biggest secrets. The chances are, if I open this door, there can be no witnesses left alive. Is that a sufficient reason for you? Oh! Uh, yeah, yeah, sounds, sounds impressive. Um, hey, Shinobu, uh, who's Ningguang? She's someone who won't let you walk out of the chasm alive if she finds out that you're prying into her secrets. Boss, you really do need to work on learning who's who in the world these days. Look, I knows what I needs to knows. It's called being a free Oni. Oh, now Paimon gets it. Yelan works for Ningguang. She did this. <laughs> yes, Wasn't which is precisely why I was trying to keep her secret. <laughs> we should avoid letting Yelan open this door. What about you, Traveler? Would you like to try? Yeah, go for it, Traveler. Besides, you never know who could be behind that door. Maybe it could even be Shell. I say give it a shot. Who knows? Maybe little dude is waiting for us on the other side. I uh, who we're looking for. Yeah, uh, you forgot this. Anyway. I'm always looking for someone. But it should be a bad memory, not just like her si his sister so, around. Wait, what's Paimon looking at? This the piece. No, but aren't we looking for the goddess who separated them? Is this what I feared? Oh, this some needs up here. Everything's up here. Uh, they're trying to trap me in here. Uh, it has many stars. Should be the abyss. Oh. Oh. Uh, so what? Is his biggest fear a big emptiness or what? He doesn't have a fear. Uh, okay, let's sing Paimon now. Hey, there you are! Ooh, you sure had Paimon scared! We couldn't open the door after you went in. Everyone was super worried about you. Are you okay? Could I pause the game while I was there? Did you find anything, Traveler? So, did you find the person we want to rescue inside? No. Judging by the look on your face, I'm guessing you saw something a little... unpleasant in there? I did. Behind the door I saw... The darkness of the beast that took my twin away. It wasn't the darkness of the beast, it was a... goddess. Huh? How could that be? Ah, uh, don't worry. 
Paima will keep searching for her with you. Cheer up! Uh, stupid door! I'll smash you to pieces! If Paima wasn't feeling so exhausted, <sighs> she'd help out too. <sighs> hey, what is this? Nap time? So let me get this straight. Not only did we not find Xiao through that door, we saw all the things that we wished to avoid. I'm starting to have a very ominous feeling about this domain. It's constantly changing, and its changes seem to be targeted at us. What? What do you mean? I feel the same way. We need to watch our every step. There is definitely more to this place than meets the eye. I concur. We came here following the Conqueror of Demons, but we ended up only finding a strange door. The things we've encountered on the other side of that door are equally strange. It shows us whatever we fear the most. We're in a space that defies common logic. <sighs> on top of that, I'm starting to feel tired after that experience. But I thought we'd established that getting tired doesn't happen down here. The phenomenon hasn't reached a lethal stage just yet. Otherwise, we would have starved to death without eating for so long. I'm starting to worry that we're being affected by the changes in this space. In order to avoid the sudden accumulation of hunger and fatigue, we should eat and rest regularly from now on. That makes sense. Paimon suddenly feels exhausted. It's really tiring going through all this. Now that you mention it, I'm starting to feel tired, too. <laughs> no, 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 it's all just an illusion. I will not let my mind play tricks on me. <sighs> Paimon's whole body just feels so heavy now. Hmm. According to the current evidence, it seems our physical condition was suspended in this space before, which granted us immunity to the effects of fatigue and hunger. And now it seems that mental fatigue is unavoidable. Though we have yet to locate the Conqueror of Demons, I suggest we go back and get some rest. It'll be difficult to rescue anyone if we're on the verge of collapse ourselves. Can we go back? She's right. Hey, Lavender Melon. You okay? Want me to carry you? So search find shotgun takes me back to the entrance. Uh... Did we pass through another domain and then found more to get here? Okay. Incoming. Oh. Wrong button. Uh -huh. You haven't slept at all. Are you sure you're okay? This place seems even more perilous than we first thought. Don't worry about me. Staying focused under pressure for as long as it takes is my specialty. Now, if I'm not mistaken, looks like you've got some new ideas. <laughs> How could you tell? It's my job to keep tabs on people. I figured as much. They're just preliminary ideas at this point, but I haven't completely thought them through yet. I'll tell you more once my ideas have taken shape. Sure. Sounds good. I also have some ideas of my own. I'll fill you in after I've confirmed some things. <laughs> you think so? As they say, two heads are always better than one. It paints. Oh, skates. Perfect. Oh, the bow's here again. Oh, it's hard to there. believe what we've encountered. A Valdadar. Well, I suppose there's no use hiding it anymore now that everyone's seen it. What you all saw really was my biggest fear. I never want to become a Shrine Maiden. Who could tolerate such a boring life? After these last few years with the Arataki Gang, I suppose you could say I've seen it all. It's taken every skill in my arsenal to constantly clean up the messes they make. Though the list of annoying things to deal with is practically endless, I am totally free in the Arataki Gang. Strolling around the streets, Roasting lavender melons with friends in the open country? I know it sounds pretty silly, 
But that's the life that I want. Just don't laugh at me, okay? Otherwise, you might find yourself on the receiving end of a good beating. It's hard to believe what we've encountered. You don't look very well. At least not like when we just arrived. Are you troubled by what you saw behind the door? Listen to me. The most important thing is always the choices you have in front of you. Get some rest before you gather the courage to take your next step. Once you've chosen the path to take, don't hesitate. You must believe in your decision. It's hard to believe what we've encountered. All right, you should get some... Ushi, you sure you can't find a way back to that door again? Mm. About the door? Ah, perfect timing. I was just having a chat with Ushi about that. You know what? I can handle those mean people behind the door throwing beans at me, but causing trouble for you? Nah, -uh. that ain't gonna fly with this guy. Mm -hmm. What? There's nothing we can do? <sighs> Listen here, Beefcake. You shouldn't give up so easily. Can't you have one last look for it? If you really can't find it, we'll just have to find another door. With any luck, one that connects to the outside world. Hmm? You feel me? Bushi, you sure you can't find a- Yep, that's the big question. Gotta be honest, I have a no idea. Oh, come on, don't get mad at me. I'm just being real here. I did think about just using my Oni super strength to dig our way out, but the rocks here are even tougher than prison walls. The rocks didn't even budge when Ushi charged him. It's pretty obvious this place is meant to keep us in here. The only thing I can do now is, uh, well, take care of this exhausted little lavender melon. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're helping too, Ushi. By the way, drop. Oh, damn. Please, come meet me over there. Oh, so Kaimo doesn't show up here. You haven't slept at all. Don't worry about oh, now. To to her. <laughs> it's my job. I figured as sure. Okay. I also have some ideas of my own. <laughs> as they say. Okay, so now I just continue. Thanks for coming to speak with me, Traveler. I've been thinking about this place. Since we still don't know just what kind of danger we're up against, we can't afford to delay any longer. We have to find the Conqueror of Demons as soon as possible. That's just what I was thinking. Don't you think it's a strange coincidence that as soon as you told us about the Conqueror of Demons, we heard his voice in that place? It almost seems deliberate. As if something was trying to convince us that the Conqueror of Demons was there in order to lure us into the unknown. Well, the narrative in Genshin is usually coincidental like that. I have a so. theory, but I can't tell the others just yet. I don't want anyone to panic. Judging from the Conqueror of Demons' reactions, I think that he was somewhere else. But his voice and image were projected to our location. Is it possible that we've entered into a chaotic space? Yeah, what do you mean? We're seeing things in people that shouldn't be here, even ghosts. And we don't feel hungry because the state of our bodies is suspended. It's as if time itself has stopped for us. If that's true, it means we've entered into a place where normal logic doesn't apply. When you put it all together, everything points towards one possibility. This is a place where time and space are thrown into chaos. So I saw him in the matrix. Didn't really go the same way as us. And yet, if it's truly chaotic, how did we find our friend's voice even when we had no idea where he was? 
It doesn't make any sense. Unless the space wanted us to hear it. Which brings me to my next point. I also have a theory about our encounter with the Conqueror of Demons earlier. I submit that we didn't actually see the Conqueror of Demons. He was somewhere else. But his status was transmitted to us through a, some kind of mind-bending spatial alteration. Traveler, you said you saw the Abyss in that room, didn't you? At first glance, that door may seem like a prank. It shows you whatever you're afraid of, but if it manages to lure you inside, there's no way of knowing what might be in there. One minute, it's playing a joke to get you to lower your guard. The next, the danger is real, and it's trapped you. This space is a powerful opponent. It wants to use our minds against us. But I'm not gonna sit here and do nothing. Do you remember that small spatial rift next to the dissolving ground? I think so. So there was a spatial rift. What is a spatial rift? It felt rift? like spatial magic, but it seemed much more powerful than usual. A spatial magic. When we saw that illusion of the Conqueror of Demons, it seemed like he wasn't expecting our spaces to intersect at all, and was even more surprised that we could hear and see him. I think that this space purposefully transmitted the Conqueror of Demons' voice to lure us into a trap. But I also think it didn't count on that spatial rift happening. In other words, the fact that we saw and spoke with the Conqueror of Demons was never part of its plan. That's why we were interrupted. Yes. Also, I had a good look around after coming back. I have a feeling that these chaotic spaces are constantly intersecting with each other, meaning that anything is possible. I think this gives us an opportunity. If the space creates phenomena meant to deceive us based on our imaginations, then we have to keep imagining, Traveler. If we try to stay calm and listen carefully, maybe, just maybe, We'll hear the Conqueror of Demons' voice again. <laughs> Can you feel that? Let me see. I think it's here. And why couldn't she tell and other people? Break! <sighs> I secretly learned Yelan's illusion breaking method without her knowing. <laughs> really didn't expect that to work. The sound came from behind this illusion. Let's go in and take a look. Okay. Oh. If we try to stay calm and listen carefully, maybe, just maybe, we'll hear the Conqueror of Demons' voice again. This place looks more interesting. Can I climb? It's getting clearer. And now, huh. this is the chasm. What did Bodish go through here? Yeah, but it's going through. Just that battle fought years ago. What is he doing here? The one I met. Is that the plane? Aksha. Okay, I thought the sound would be louder towards one side or the other. But it, it's on both sides of my phones. It doesn't change when I go one side or the other. <laughs> oh, he was here? I I didn't see. The voice is much clearer now. We're close. Spatially. Conqueror of Demons, can you hear me? It's Yenfei. The Traveler and I are trying to find you. Uh, traveler? Uh, Yenfei? It worked. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, you heard the sound of your fighting. What happened? Listen to me. It's chaotic here. We may not be in the same space, but sometimes the sound can get through, which means these separate spaces intersect from time to time. 
Everything is chaotic here. Uh, I don't know. You you know the darkness that sullies my soul is harmful to mortals. Right now, we have more dangerous things to worry about than that. This space is using our urge to find you to lure us into traps. Without you here with us, our search for you could very well lead us into danger. Well, this time. So you're in danger too? Oh, well, he said two. There was no need for you to search for me. But we're worried about you. And earlier, the traveler was tricked into entering a dangerous place. It wasn't really dangerous. We cut off <sighs> without hiding anything. How do we meet? Conqueror of Demons, can you find out where our voices are coming from? Find the spot where our voices are the clearest and try... something there. It might work. I see. The spaces may intersect amidst the chaos. By try something, do you mean... Hurry! If we miss this chance, we might not get another one. Hmm. <laughs> Stand back! <sighs> Looks badly injured. Oh, nice. He has a cut. Let's get him back to the camp. Everybody always looks normal. Now we can avoid getting split up. Oh. Thank you. A lot's That's happened it. here, but this wasn't just for our own safety. You're injured. We can't just leave you alone. It's just a flesh wound. <sighs> I am fine. I shouldn't let myself be a burden to you. You're not a burden. Don't think that for one second. We need you, all of us. For our sake, please, stay here, please. Fine. As you wish. You're injured. Get some rest. Everything else can wait. It's weird until you get better. Or about you. <sighs> All right. But if you are kind of in stasis, what do we get healed? There you go. Uh, shall close his eyes. He seems to be resting. Can he be dreaming? It's quite astonishing. Why? Uh, is a Yaksha who never loses guards capable of having dreams? Shall I he should be resting. Can he be dreaming? This is quite astonishing. Uh, same thing. Oh, so, same thing with you guys. Hey, Ushi. Looks like our little lavender melon has fallen asleep, huh? Also, Do you think she... she's dreaming? So she sleeps floating. She looks wiped out. It's kind of hard to see her like this. I mean, most of the time she never shuts up. Aw, poor thing. And that little dude looks done in too. Uh, I'm kind of worried about him. Oh, I sleep like this when I'm in jail? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I do slumber like a king. Traveler, when did you get here? <laughs> Oh, she's normal. You don't look well. Uh -huh. I guess things still haven't improved. It's okay. 
You don't have to go into all the details. <sighs> Sometimes I really envy the boss. Hang on. There is another path that's probably just uh that ain't that I haven't checked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, shells and stuff. Expected. Something strange is going on here. Oh, traveler? Well, you're both here. Great. I want to talk to you. Well, let's all talk. We'll put our heads together. I also felt that the space was targeting us, but Yenfei managed to exploit its weakness. <laughs> Leave it to Yenfei to find a loophole. Based on what just happened, we can now confirm our suspicions that space and time function chaotically here. In addition, we must stay vigilant to avoid the traps set for us by this place. Now that we've found the Conqueror of Demons, the next thing we need to do is find a way out. I went back to the Domain again just now. Although I couldn't find a new route, it wasn't a completely fruitless trip. My clan has practiced magic for generations, and has created some catalysts that only we know how to use. I recognized something like one of those catalysts in the Domain. Unfortunately, it disappeared as soon as I approached it. Illusion? I think so. But it's hard to distinguish between reality and illusion here. I can't be sure. Also, I am the only one out of all of us who could know what it would look like. To me, that confirms that this place really is reading our minds. Just like with that door. It's like it's alive, and testing us. By reading our minds and showing us what we want, it creates the reality that we want to be true. Everything it does is either to get us to lower our guard, or to wear us down. If that's the case, it can only have one goal. To trap us here until we die. What else could it be? We should prepare for the worst, but we mustn't give up. I've always known there were secrets hidden in the chasm, but even the Qixing have never heard about anything like this. Yelon, when we first ran into you, you said you had something to do. What were you referring to? <sighs> I... was looking for the truth behind the monster invasion from Conria. Yeah. Come on. <sighs> Please keep everything I'm about to say to yourselves. No one else can know. Otherwise... We got it. <sighs> Five hundred years ago, a wave of dark beasts from Conria attacked the Seven Nations of Tevat. Naturally, Liyue was also affected. Under Rex Lapis's command, the Millilith fought hard to hold the front line near the chasm. But these were vicious beasts, and this was the most desperate battle Liyue had ever faced. At a critical moment, someone distracted the monsters and led them away. Just when all hope seemed lost, the tide turned. The Liyue army eventually won the war, but there were many who never returned. Two of my ancestors took part in that war, and the one who made it back went insane. Everything about it was strange. 
The current generation of Qixing knows very little about these events, and very few came back from the chasm alive. Finding out the truth has been a waiting game. The day the chasm was unsealed, I put in a request to be transferred here, so I could finally learn the truth of what happened back then. But this place we've ended up in, and the possibilities we're facing, it's all far more terrifying than I'd imagined. <sighs> we can't give up. Right now, our number one priority has to be getting out of here alive. Yeah, it's not getting out. What happened 500 years ago? And why did Shao came back here? Back to outer space was fine. Can we really get out of here in one piece? Are you all right? You've suddenly gone quiet. It's not like you at all. Shh, we'll talk later. I'm just processing all the existing clues we have. Maybe the key to our escape is hidden in some detail I've overlooked. I have to go over everything again. All right, well... Oh, don't worry. I won't write down anything that you told us about. No, I meant if you're going to analyze the facts, count me in. Uh, I'll have to go try to roll again. Yeah, if there was some random NPC here, I kind of be worried they could die or something. But everybody who's here is gonna make out of here fine. Back to status quo. You don't look well. I guess things still have an imp. It's okay. You don't have to go into all the details. <sighs> Sometimes I really envy the. So, I have the same thing as before. Well... Shows that the tile is shut and he's not making a sound. No one has... Yeah. No one has... Oh, the heart to interrupt him. This is still... Yeah, he's still hurt. Hey, Ushi, looks like our little lavender melon has fallen asleep, huh? Man, she look- Man, that little- oh, I sleep like this- Traveler, when did you get here? Hey. Wait, where are we? Um, we're still underground. Fine, I'm feeling yep. better. Paimon just got a little fright because she's never seen a crazy place like this before. Who would have thought the best guide in all of Tevet could end up so out of their depth? <laughs> uh, it's a for your normal. Yeah! <laughs> so anyway, Paimon just had the weirdest dream. There were cattle mooing constantly. Mm. Yeah, just like that! Aw, Ushi, were you looking after Paimon? Traveler, it looks like the Conqueror of Demons is awake. How do you feel? I'm fine. Don't worry. The karma I carry is dangerous to humans. Keep your distance. Well, I have Adept Eye blood in me, so I wouldn't worry too much. Even so. What happened while Paimon was sleeping? How did Xiao get here? With a little help, I was able to find my way here. Oh, thanks, Xiao. Conqueror of Demons, could you tell us what happened before he joined us? No need to be so formal. 
Just call me Shell. Oh, sure. <sighs> it was a senseless battle. I came here looking for someone, but when I found them, they weren't anything like how I expected. Madam Ping says that you usually base yourself at Wang Shuin to guard the main road through Dihua Marsh. It's unusual for you to go looking for someone yourself. Are they an adeptus? <sighs> I'm looking for a Yaksha called Bosatius. Bosatius. I'm sure I heard the names I heard. Where? Bosatius? Is that one of the five Yakshas? Like you? I thought that you were the only one left. Aren't the other four... gone from the world? You could say that. But Bosatius' body is the only one that was never found. Yakshas deal with God's remains all the time, and we become tainted by karma. Over time, it inevitably drives us to madness. The last time I saw Bosatius, it was the day he lost his mind. He left. No one knew where he went, and I never heard from him again. But Bosatius was the eldest of us. He once told us, as Yakshas we will experience countless wars. Whether we live or die, we must promise to take care of each other, and know each other's fate to the very end. Did he forget his promise because he lost his sanity? It's possible, but I did not. I am the sole survivor, so it is my duty to find out the fates of the others. What made you come to the chasm? Did you hear something about Bosatius being here? Did you know that 500 years ago, the beasts of Conria invaded the chasm? I heard a thing or two. That war lasted a long time. It is said that in the midst of the battle, a brave Yaksha was seen putting up a heroic fight, but no one knew the Yaksha's name. But there were many more than five Yakshas in total, so there's no guarantee it was Bosatius. Wow, but you must think it was probably him if you came here to investigate, right? I am by no means certain, and I didn't have any other clues except for this one. But Bosatius was proud. If he had taken part in that war, he would have announced his name. So at first, I thought the nameless Yaksha couldn't be him. I'm Bosatius. <laughs> Wait, so it was Bosatius you were fighting with? Did he injure you? Yes. No way! The invasion of monsters from Conria. The battle in the chasm, and Yelon's ancestor. I have a feeling that somehow, these are all connected. Life is full of coincidences, but this is too much of a coincidence. Could this all be related to the fantastic compass mentioned in the will, too? What will? Oh, right. I came here because of a will. Maybe it's not something you've come across much before, but both mortals and adepti sometimes write out their final wishes so somebody else will carry them out after they've passed. It's known as a last will and testament. And this can be done at any time? Whoa, whoa! You wanna write a will? Now? <sighs> it was no accident that you saw my illusion that day. This place used your desire to find me to create a trap that you would willingly walk into. Pure deception is easy to spot, but the truth laced with lies can be a fatal combination. What you heard were really things that I said. It made sure you heard my real voice to create panic. This one-way communication was the bait. If we hadn't managed to get in touch through the spatial rift, we may well have lost someone by now. Rather than murdering in cold blood, this space seems more intent on consuming souls. How is this even possible? Our opponent is very clever. It is not safe to stay here. Everyone, whether I accomplish what I came here to do or not, I must find a way to get you out safely. Hmm. I rejoin to warn you that it's extremely dangerous here. 
If you stay here too long, this space may well devour you. But how do you know? Perhaps you get devoured. You might become a shadow of your former self, wandering the underground like a lost soul. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like you saw them too. Galon, you're back. I've been back a while. I was listening to the conversation. I've seen some strange things here too. Objects that shouldn't be here. Strange figures appearing, then vanishing. I don't think any of it is real. So they're just illusions? At first I had the same thought. But it's not that simple. There may come a day when these illusions become real and attack you. From what you were saying a moment ago, it sounds like you know a way out of here. I can't say for sure. It's just a guess. As Yanfei said, this space is chaotic and unstable, but it has its weaknesses. By attacking the point where both spaces connect, I was able to create a rift and move from one to the other. So, if I use all the energy I have, I may be able to tear a passage out of this chaotic space. Really? So powerful attacks can affect the space itself. I had wondered if that was a possibility. Whoa, 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 whoa. But what do you mean by all the energy you have? I mean, it will take everything I've got. Wait a minute! When you said you were gonna get us out safely, you mean you're gonna stay here? You can't be serious. <sighs> I saw Bosatius underground. That's when I realized the horror of this place. A single blast can only create a very small opening. To send you back to the outside world, I may need to continuously channel power in order to keep the tunnel open. I know how to fight to the bitter end. I can do this. If takes all the energy you have, you... No, no way. Even if what you're saying is true, I can't agree to this. I'm on neither. It's not much of an escape plan if we gotta leave someone behind. We should live It's together. only a good or bad plan if there are other options to compare it to. But that's not the situation we're in right now. I doubt you'd still be stuck here if anyone had a better idea. B but can you be certain that your plan will work? I cannot. What is wrong with you? You can't bet your life on something if you don't even know it's gonna work! It's not worth it! To conclude, I'm not agreeing to this plan. What if I told you... This is my last will? <gasps> you? <sighs> That's your strategy, so, huh? Have short for him. No offense, but we have no guarantee this plan of yours will succeed. Or even that it's safe. You said it yourself. Yakshas pose a danger to humans. You really expect us to accept your self-righteous plan just because you say so? The battlefield is a treacherous place. Every opportunity you take, you put everything on the line for. If you fear sacrifice and failure, you can never be victorious. I've been in my fair share of treacherous battles. So I know full well that you never bring up extreme measures like this until the very, very end. <laughs> you say these things in the hope that we will understand and accept them. But if you don't even know that your self-sacrifice is going to pay off, all you're doing is hurting morale. Besides, if you were really so determined to end it all, you wouldn't have given us the opportunity to share our opinions. You think you're oh so cold and ruthless, but I'm not buying it. And anyway, losing one of us so the rest can escape? <laughs> Some victory that is. Yalon, don't be so harsh. <sighs> Point is, it's not time for drastic measures yet. It's possible there's a hidden passage leading to the exit that we just haven't discovered. What if there isn't? Or if we don't find it? And in the end, I'm so weak that I don't have the strength left to sacrifice myself. What do you propose we do then? 
As things stand, there's no difference between sacrificing you and trying to find another way out, in terms of the likelihood of success. If we can't say that one strategy is better than the other, we certainly shouldn't be rushing into a risky course of action. Answers like a line, that's what you're so nice. What should I do? It'll make no difference. Did someone say a strong enough strike can break us out of this place? Yeah, that's right. I heard ya. No one's staying behind to let anyone else out, all right? Enough talk. It's time for action. Oh, what is going to point to space? Come on, whatever you are. Let's see how long you manage to keep us trapped in here after I'm finished with you. Uh, easy now. Have a taste of this! Yeah! <laughs> <sighs> 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 Whew, okay, so I didn't tear the whole place down. <clears throat> but check it out, new path. <laughs> if you need a hero, I'm the man for the job. Seen this coming. So, should David dash before it closes or so? Uh, why do you always have to do things like this? Shinobu. What happened to Ito? Did he pass out? Uh. The boss used up all his strength in one punch. Maybe that's the reason he managed to tear open a passage. Let me see if there's any way I can stabilize it. He did this because he heard us arguing, right? <sighs> the thing with Boss is, he just can't stand conflict between teammates. Whenever we get into an argument in the Arataki gang, he always goes and does something shocking to calm everyone down. <sighs> Today, he's done it again. He may not have known you for very long. But when he said he sees everyone as part of the same team, he truly means that. Mm. Another thing with Boss is, he hates it when other people sacrifice themselves, but he always seems to end up doing it himself. That said, there's a slight distinction to be made with him. When he does things like this, he doesn't really think he's sacrificing himself, because he genuinely believes that he's strong enough to defeat any obstacle he's facing. Giant eagle alert! And wasn't he just doing the same thing Shao suggested? Ah, <sighs> so stupid. So, couldn't they combine their powers then? So, if it's just a regular hit, why didn't you try to stop The boss him? is hardly open to persuasion. Besides, he always acts without thinking. There's no doubt that he really thought he was about to solve everything in one hit. Uh, it's not just him either. The other guys in the Arataki gang are more or less the same. That's why they need someone like me to clean up after them. I couldn't stop him if I tried, so I might as well just let him do his thing. Besides, often his harebrained intuition is surprisingly on point. We might punch our way out of here yet. Uh, Ito, please tell Paimon you're okay. I'm sorry. Don't be. You have nothing to apologize for. Both you and Yelan made some very good points. Still, if this was an Arataki gang issue and you were one of our members, I have to say I'd side with Yelan on this one. The boss definitely wasn't sacrificing himself. He firmly believed that we'd be able to find a way out through the passage he opened up, and he's certainly not expecting to be left behind. Everyone's important. We have to support each other if we're going to get out of here. Your survival is of huge importance to some people. Uh, no, to a whole lot of people. Aww, Shinobu. Everyone, let's all do our best to try and find a way out. There's still a chance. I'm sure we can escape. Leave the boss to me. Don't worry. <sighs> Oh, 
so <sighs> Everyone, much dialogue. it seems this passage doesn't lead to the outside world, but deeper inside. What the? So Ito's efforts were in vain? No, it's still worth exploring. Hmm. I'll go and take a look first. Uh -huh. should just came I see. There. I'm with you. Uh, what? So far, I still haven't found the thing I came looking for. That magical device, remember? If this domain has the power to project our imaginations or the things we're searching for into reality, well, maybe I can use that to my advantage to track it down. Oh, right! No wonder she keeps telling us to keep going. If it's a magical device, it must be super powerful. Well, I can't guarantee that, but it's worth a try. I will find a way. But wasn't that the make him lost in first place? Let him go. But if you're planning on going into that domain too, then come with me. After all, I'm just a lawyer. <laughs> we'll be safer if we team up. By the way, um, you and Xiao seem pretty close, huh? Yelong got a bit worked up just now, so I just wanted to apologize on her behalf. I have to say, though, if Yelon hadn't spoken out like she did, I'm not sure she would have gotten through to him. Also, self-sacrifice is something Yelon feels strongly about. She tried to stop whoever it was. From what I know, she's lost comrades in the line of duty before, and then was rescued herself. Maybe being a survivor is what makes her so against seeing other people sacrifice themselves. How can things ever be the same again, knowing that your life was saved when others weren't? In a way, salvation can also be a burden. If I were her, I'm not sure I would have done anything different. Oh, wait, one second. I'll be right there. Yeah! What? What's that? <sighs> right, that's much safer. Since Ito can't fight right now, I've cast a spell to protect you guys. Thank you, Senpai. Please, be careful. We will. Same to you. All right, Traveler, let's go. Oh, everything getting started. Don't worry. Ushi and I know how to take care of the boss. I think I can speak for both of us in saying it's not our first rodeo. Go on, get out of here, and be careful. Ah, uh, I thought I could push closer where we were. What's this? A great wonderful scene, space time has become totally chaotic. Huh? Look at oh. that huge disc in the distance. Hold on. Is that the fantastic compass? <laughs> it's bigger than cooking pots. It's even bigger than all our heads combined. Those are... What? That's the best description you can come <laughs> up with? It's way, way bigger than that! <sighs> well, it seems our theory checked out. In my humble legal opinion, that's almost certainly the magical device I've been looking for. It really showed up. But if this really is the fantastic compass... It's so huge! How the heck am I gonna lug that back to my office? <clears throat> I mean, come on, Yenfei. Don't give up now. Let's investigate the area first. <gasps> what, what the... Are they... Are they treasure hoarders? What are they doing they here? They look familiar. <coughs> oh, yeah. I bumped into these rapscallions a few days ago. 
and how did they get here? Oh. Motion to compel. Incinerate. Oh, what does she have a good? Uh, okay, mine doesn't have that. Definitely don't have that. I don't know how to make this very on. Also, yikes! You're open. There's a smaller disc here. Judging from the appearance and design, in all likelihood, this is the Fantastic Compass. Why is there a small version of the Fantastic Compass stuck in the ground? What's it for? Was it done? <sighs> Easy peasy, just like last time. You know, when I ran into them before, I was working on a big commercial case. The defendant hired them to attack me, just to get back at me. They got advice or something. Happens all the time. Luckily, I'm well trained in martial arts, so taking them down was a piece of cake. But these are the exact same guys as I met last time. Is mm. this space recreating scenes from my memory? Maybe this is one of the ways our adversary intends to devour us. Unbelievable. Oh no, orange. It's not a long text, is it? Letter one of oh. As matter Master Bo Young, if I could borrow pen and paper, should write home. But now that I have them, no clue what's right. You know what? Hope I run back home doing fine. And I miss my daughter. the point I thought we might run into some other people here, but apparently not. What's this song? The Fatui? Whose memory is this? The Fatui aren't people. Ah, watch out! <laughs> Just as I thought. You're here. I will take you down no matter how many times you show up. Hey, relax. We're together now. You'll get frostbite. To incinerate. Have a look this. Motion to compel. You're not going anywhere. Yeah. Oh no. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Incinerate. 
That was nice. Amateurs. And still they dare to come after me. <laughs> You've still got it. That was just not... Remember how I said I'd seen some illusions myself? Those were the same words I heard last time. The space seems to be reproducing that memory. Now that you know, at least we're all on the same page. He said the word fantastic. Was he talking about the fantastic compass? Yenfei, see that thing on the ground? Yeah, we tinkered with it. That's how we met up with you. I guess it's a miniature version of the Fantastic Compass in the distance. It has a close connection to the entire space. Hmm. It looks somewhat familiar. Let me think. Uh, new space. Oh. Uh, rotate the needles of the fantastic compass in two different points to change the time in this area and jump to different times. Your actions in certain certain previous point in time may affect the next point in time you jump to. Uh, ah, it's close now. Two. I'm writing this letter on behalf of Hulan. He hopes that his family is also well. If not for his if not for this past, he would have wanted to go back to spend lantern and ride with them. Okay, do I have to change again or can I just what happens if I just go without? I come back to the same spot. <laughs> yeah, seems to be the same. <laughs> I'm little stuck. And the trees, as far as can turn. Come back. The needle has touched the ground. Trees in here. Ah, uh, can I? Oh, um, I broke backwards. Ah, uh, but I can return even more. Okay, but now I can move once more. 
forward. This new <laughs> Get a little further. <laughs> oh, it's looking different. I really need that waiting room. Another new space. If everywhere within this space follows the same rules, there must be another small fantastic compass somewhere around here. Osatius, I can't believe someone like you would end up as a lost soul underground. Sure. No enemies. Hold on. Wait, is the enemy hiding itself? Oh no, we should go help him. Stay back. This is my fight. Do not come near me. Filthy monsters! So many people have died at your hands! I lured you here to this underground space because I found your weakness. Hiding and ambushing from the dark is Bosatius' signature tactic. Die here with me! Huh? Ugh. How did a valiant warrior like you die here? Um, oh, there's something here. Uh -oh. oh, I'm not seeing something. Letter 3. <laughs> this is the 10th day or more that has been separated from Boyan, Bosatius, and the others. Uh, it wasn't Boyan, right? His family. Did they actually had families? I thought they were, like, I don't know, made up to fight. Ah, uh, well, that's what I say anyway. My friend here says that it's only been three days. I have no clue who is right or wrong, nor do I think that Arian serves any purpose at this point. I think we could go home, but we cannot. Um. This is not going well for Xiao! No matter! I know how this ends! <sighs> <sighs> Look, Osatius is showing signs of fatigue. Osatius, Marshal Vritris, even your strength is finite. But your illusion is not as mighty as you. This is not you in all your glory. I wonder what Rex Lapis would think. If he saw what had become of the first Yaksha. Leave! I'll deal with the rest. We can't let the monsters get to the surface. Everyone, remember, we must hold the line at 60 miles outside the chasm at all costs. Just that. Okay. If I waited more, would there be more dialogue? Enough! Phantom! Be gone! Xiao, are you okay? You haven't yet recovered from your injuries. This is my purpose. Don't worry about me. So your invisible opponent was the legendary Bosatius, Marshal Vitris? Wait, what? Is that his title? Yes. So excuse my stubbornness. Bosatius has been missing for centuries. This may have been the last time I will ever see him. He was saying something about holding the line at all costs. He fought here. The nameless Yaksha from the legends. It was him. But... Didn't you say he'd always announce his name? How could his name be lost to time? What happened? <sighs> I don't know. 
Maybe he forgot who he was. Because the karma you spoke of drove him to madness? Osatius had already gone mad before he disappeared. There was no way of knowing if his memories were intact. He still took part in the Battle of the Chasm despite having gone mad? We Yakshas are not a race that thrive in peacetime. It's likely that he was drawn by the scent of bloody war. Slaughter is what we do best. Maybe it's the only thing we know. This battle confirmed my suspicions. As we had speculated, this space reflects information from people's minds. In other words, despite going mad, Bosatius came here. The illusion we saw just now is the impression he left behind. This space recreated him as he was during the battle. The way he fought was so self-destructive. He couldn't possibly have survived. We found the monsters. Bosatius' illusion said he'd discovered the monster's weakness and lured them underground. What kind of place could this be? Defeating Conria's monsters is no small feat, that's for sure. Guys, it could just be me, but... I think I'm suddenly feeling more tired than I was. This space is really starting to affect us. I believe Bosatia stayed here underground. But now he is gone, and only his illusion remains. If we don't leave, we may meet the same fate. Let's go. Time to move on. You fought well, Bosatius. Goodbye. supposed to just enter there. There's a tiny arrow on the on top of the compass. And my camera fills. Rewind time. Oh, we can skip the time. Oh, 
Uh, can I just teleport here? Let me see if I can fix my camera. Okay, just a moment. Venturing, as in business, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. I don't know how I was supposed to get out of there. I did the wrong thing, didn't I? That's it. Where it takes me. Do I have to? Oh no, no, don't tell me. I have to do it all again. Uh, okay, I shouldn't have got out of there. Damn. Uh, What's this? Can I skip? Seems our theory checked out. In my humble legal Damn. opinion, that's almost certain. But if this really is the fantastic compass, uh, it's so huge. It's taking so long. I mean, come on, Yanfei. Don't give up now. They look familiar. Incinerate! Yeah! 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 Motion to compel! There's a smaller disc here. Judging from the appearance and design... Hmm. In all likelihood, oh, this is the fantastic compass. Why is there a small version of... Huh? An entrance? Great! Admissible evidence! Well, actually, you know, when I ran into them before, let's try to skip to the last God, part. These are the exact same guys as I met last time. Maybe this is one of the. Um, you can go farther. <laughs> Whoa, is this a tunnel? Uh, this is weird. It feels like it's connecting to another world. I thought we might run into some other people here, but apparently not. The Fatui? Whose memory is this? <laughs> Just as I thought. Kalon, you're here. I will take you. Hey, relax. Come on, come on. Incinerate! <laughs> Fire! 
Frost. now. Take it easy. Busted. <laughs> You've still got it. Remember how I said I'd seen some loot? Those were the same words I heard last time. The space seems to be... Now that you know... He said... Yenfei, see that thing on the ground? Yeah, we think... Hmm. Ah, uh, okay. I have to open this in the past, so it'll be open in the future. There. If everywhere Osatius. I can't believe someone No enemies. Wait, is the enemy hiding itself? Oh no. We should go Stay back! This is my fight. Filthy monsters! So many people have died at your hands! I lured you here to this underground space because I found your weakness. Hiding and ambushing from the dark is Losatius' signature tactic. Die here with me! Huh? Ugh. How did a valiant warrior like you die here? Uh-oh. This is not going well for Xiao! No matter. I know how this ends. <sighs> Look! Losatius is showing signs of fatigue! Losatius! Marshal Vritris! Even your strength is finite! But your illusion is not as mighty as you! This is not you in all your glory! I wonder what Rex Lapis would think if he saw what had become of the first Yaksha! Please! I'll deal with the rest! We can't let the monsters get to the surface. Everyone, oh, remember, we must the hold the line at 60 miles outside the chasm at all costs. Speed of light. Okay, done again. Enough! Phantom, be gone! Chow, are you okay? This is my- So you're invisible a- Yes. So excuse my stubbornness. Bosatius has been missing for centuries. He was saying some- He fought here. The nameless y- But- <sighs> I don't know. Maybe he forgot- Because the car- Bosatius had- He still took part in the Battle of the Chasm to- We Yakshas are not a race that thrive in peacetime. It's likely that he was drawn by the scent- Slaughter is what we do best. This battle can, in other words, this space recreated him. Bosatius is what kind of guys? Come on, come it could on, this space come on, is. Come I believe Bosatius stayed here underground. But now, if we don't leave, with time to move on. You fought well. Better. Not so. Ah. Forge.
Is anything different from before? No. Oh, damn. This time... Ah, I didn't explode the bombs. The farthest back, isn't it? I have no idea how long it's been since we came out with our comrades on patrol. Uh, but according to the information you gathered, the beasts have completely lost all mobility. Indeed, most of them have disappeared. We are victorious, and what a great victory it is. Save that we can never again return home. Herland's daughter will turn two this year, and Ching Ming's grandmother is getting long in the tooth and the two of them missed their family sorely so i i myself have no relations no one uh, no one does not wish to return home but for those of us who are here we are the only king we have now this place is very mysterious indeed i don't do not know if it is because we miss home or because this place was always like this, but when we are on patrol here, we can see sights that we could only see back home. I used to hear the old folks say the Liwe has had hundreds of years of history when it comes to mining in the mountains, but this doesn't look like any mine. Perhaps this may all be my imagination. Or what with missing my childhood home back in the mining sandwich. How I wish I could go back there. Hmm. It looks like these were letters written by the Millilith soldiers who stayed here. So, who's this Boyang they mentioned? <sighs> Boyang was one of my ancestors. The one who didn't make it back. You mean... Boy Young fought alongside Bosatius? I believe so. And the Millilith soldiers were their brothers in arms. I guess now we have a pretty good idea of where everyone that went missing ended up. Yes. Uh, so scary. What happened? Come on, let's not stay here. I have a gut feeling that sooner or later we'll connect all the dots. And then, we'll finally know the truth. Still, who knows how this space is planning on revealing the answer to us. Uh, oh, it's broken, right? Oh. Oh, I can go farther back. Uh, isn't that the future now? Uh, yes, it is. Oh. Alright. I think I'm missing the thing for not exploding and going back to the future. There's nothing here at all! What a creepy space. It has the feel of the abyss, but where are the opponents? Hmm. I think this is my memory. Your memory? Of what? I think this does it for the abyss. The abyss? So, this place is created purely based on your memory? 
because I always remember that the beast took my sister away. And I don't fully remember the beginning. The beast is always bad news. The purpose of my journey is to find you. I'll keep going and imagine it's getting smart. darker. I have to get a run out here. I'll finally survive this. There's no time for me to read. Oh, he spoke. Like for the third time since you started. Oh, I have to. This screen is black. Seriously. The Fantastic Compass! In the other spaces, the Fantastic Compass was always partially buried in the ground. But this one is lying flat, intact, as if somebody left it here. Oh, she was just a figment of your imagination? So, she appeared as an illusion because you miss her so much, huh? I can sense that she's not here. But at least we found this. Mm. Yenfei, are you sure this is the fantastic compass you're looking for? I think so. There were no pictures in the will, but based on the description, it seems to check out. Yelon? What is it? From the design and build, this fantastic compass looks extremely similar to the catalysts used by my clan. I just need to do this, and... <laughs> Someone's used this before. There may be a hidden message inside. Let's get out of here and find somewhere safer. Oh. Alright, here we'll be fine. Oh. Take a moment to catch your breath while I try to unlock the fantastic compass. Now that I've found the fantastic compass, my work here is done. But if the bosatius we saw was just an illusion, will we really be able to take anything we find here back to the outside world? <sighs> Within yin and yang, among the five regions, water, fire, wind, and thunder cycle like the seasons. Grasp the seven heavens from the ground, Open wide the three gates. All the worlds within reach. Osatius was the leader of the five Yakshas under Rex Lapis's command. He could control electro energy. Unlike me, he was both a formidable warrior and a talented commander. <sighs> okay, so we're out. And a lot more cutscenes, right? As usual. Well, well. This is not what I was expecting. Oh, seems like you've made a new discovery. Oh, not one. My name is Boyan. Here I leave the record of all I know for future generations to see and learn from my experiences. Number two, my comrades myself were ordered by the Chising to take the Fantastic Compass to the chasm. So, whose will is Yanfei following? Uh, and assist our middle champions. But the beasts in this place were incredibly terrifying and our forces suffered terrible losses. If not for the aid of the Yaksha, I fear my that my brother and I might have been slain right here, right there and then. This Yaksha has four hands and behaves in a maddened fashion, even being unable to remember his own name. When in a crazy state, he refers to others around him as Alatus and uh, Menogias. He has mastery over thunder and his form is all spying. 
one that is destined to be remembered throughout history. We follow him into battle against the wicked beasts for 10 odd days, finally breaking out. The snake has a snake has its weakness seven inches below the head. Uh, and these monsters naturally have their weakness as well. Uh, having scored this, the Yaksha had set it on a battle plan to target that weakness. In our previous battle, the surface of the chasm was damaged, revealing a great enigmatic underground palace in the bowels of the earth. Uh, we observed that the monsters would grow weak when approaching this domain, and so we guessed that there is some power there that greatly surpasses the, these beasts of Kenya. We have suffered too many losses, we must end this quickly. Wang Xiao and I agreed that I take the fantastic compass and leap a group of militants to follow the Yaksha down into the underground palace. We will lure the beasts away and herd them into the depths of the palace. The seal must be completed by myself and the Yaksha within the place, with Wang Zhao aiding us from the outside. That way we can ensure that the seal will hold. If this works, the chasm front will be secured. However, this means that I, the Yaksha, and the middle of us will be left behind within the underground palace. Yet, the benefits are too great. We have to try this out. So it's like, uh, Chiao's playing. Uh, the warriors have observed day and night and have confirmed that the beasts are heavily limited once they enter the underground palace, almost as if they, some power is eating away at them. Some of our wounded have sacrificed themselves and others have split off from the main party in their confusion, never to return. Will the monsters really be vanquished this way? Uh, they unmatched strangeness of the underground palace is something I fear only I and the Yaksha would still live to witness. I do not know how much time has passed. The Yaksha is gravely wounded and maddened. I fear he will not live long. As for me, though I remain clear-headed, I can feel faint modes setting in. I do not know how long I have been here. The Yaksha urges me to depart, forgetting that staying here was the fate we chose. The underground palace is almost like a living being. When a breach first appeared in the ground, we leapt down below and gave battle, but even then I noticed that the breach was quietly closing. I'm not sure if, if that was the only tactic we could have chosen. And even when we attacked the rifts, the rent open spaces slowly regenerate. Well, they only regenerate slowly sometimes. Other times they came swift, it is hard to say. Does this mean that when we damage the ground in the fighting, we damage the outer shell of the space? Or have we accidentally entered the belly of some mighty leviathan, only to be slowly devoured by, by it? I believe that this should be the end of those weak beasts. We have all of them. I have tried many paths. There is no way out. The Yaksha has fallen, only I remain. I see my family, my wife, my children. They approach me. And then they pass through. I must be going mad. How else could I be seeing my family, who are in Liu Harbor? I wish I could go home. But can I? Rong Zhao sometimes recurs the fact that it was not you who had to undergo this torture, but Rong Zhao, as your elder brother, I am glad that you survived. So tired, I can think straight. Oh, this information this was place? left by a thaumaturge called Guoyang, who, as you know, is the missing ancestor that I came here to investigate. Mm, this should be related to Shonyu. All this information, it was left by your ancestor? Hundreds of years ago, two of my ancestors, brothers, 
were gifted the fantastic compass by someone of great importance. They brought this device to the chasm and joined the war against the monsters of Conria. They set out together, but only one of them made it back. Minus his sanity. Karma. <laughs> Correct. One possibility is that when they fought alongside Bosatius, they were tainted by his karma. Neither of them had visions, so they wouldn't have been able to resist its effects for very long. From reading through this, it sounds like Boyong ended up staying here for good, too. <clears throat> well, this is just wonderful. So, that's it. There's no way out. A thought. Give me a second. I just need to double check. We really need a flashback of her uh -huh. reading. If she was mm -hmm. just about to get a book to check what she read before, and we weren't the even traveler. there when she had. I just was realized something. Okay, so on my way before. here, I was studying the will the whole time, but I didn't give any thought to the book that the will was inside of. I don't know it verbatim, but I have read it before. The gist of the story goes like this. Millennia ago, an Adeptus made a magic device to seal away evil monsters. Later, he made good friends with a human and gave the device to him to use as a catalyst. A few years later, great demons haunted the mountains. The mortal and the Adeptus joined forces to exorcise them using the same device. And that's not all. The book also says this. When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. This contraption is proof that mortals and adepti may coexist, that there is unity between heaven and humanity. I have both adepti and human lineage. Maybe my power can work. Oh, convenient. It worked! I mean, the effect only lasted an instant because I'm not strong enough. But still, we must be on the right track. And look, something seems to have been activated inside the Fantastic Compass. By heaven's might and the gods of the five regions, Yaksha and mortal together take this contraption in hand. That's their voices from when they made the seal. Bosatius and my ancestor, they sealed off this space at the top together. Hmm. I see. It makes sense now. That huge crystal I saw at the bottom of the chasm. I remember when the crystal hit the ruined serpent. There seemed to be an opposing force. Was it that opposing force that delayed the awakening of this space that has now swallowed us? Or did the impact weaken the entrance on the ground? Also, we haven't seen any Abyss monsters here. Could this all be connected? Everyone, let's go back and meet up with Ito and Shinobu. I have a suggestion to make. Paimon can barely move anymore. Oh. Why can't we get out of here? Paimon doesn't want to die. Paimon wants to stay with you. Paimon, just hang in there, okay? Trust me, there's still hope. Let's go. That's taking way longer than expected. Where am I? Oh. <laughs> 
can see here. Shinobu, Ito, we're back. How's he He must be exhausted because he still hasn't woken up yet. But he's not in any serious danger, so don't worry. What about you guys? You found something, didn't you? It's written on your faces. But whatever it is, it's bad news, isn't it? Um... We found the fantastic compass. The previous owner left a message inside, and from the looks of it, there really is no way out of this space after all. It seems like the previous owner was stuck here forever, too. <sighs> Shoot! This isn't over yet. Listen to me. Just now, I tried channeling my power into the Fantastic Compass, and it responded. But all that did was activate the records from when the seal was created. Right, but the issue wasn't with the compass. It was with the method. Remember what the book says? When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. Only when a mortal and an adeptus combine their powers can the Fantastic Compass be fully activated. I'm a mix of human and adeptus, so the fact that the Fantastic Compass responded to me shows that the system is still functional. Lucky for us, we also happen to have a full adeptus and a human with training in the magic arts. Oh. Interesting. So that's what was going through your head. Showing Yellen each cooperate. So an adeptus and a human need to channel their power at the same time? Yes, if my guess is correct, then when both of you put your full power into the Fantastic Compass, we should be able to completely reactivate it. Maybe even reverse it. Last time, it was used to seal the intersection between this place and the chasm. If we can reverse it, then we're home free. Awesome! So there's still hope? You bet. <sighs> Your idea seems reasonable. Oh, it's not hard anymore. You didn't notice. Okay, well let's all take a quick break. We'll give this thing a try once we're ready. Come on. Uh, do I really need oh that? Boy. I thought I would Paimon's need to so walk nervous. around for people. I'm afraid this much work. Yelan, Xiao, how are we looking? I'm all set. I'm ready. Oh, but Yenfei, there's one thing you might need to mentally prepare yourself for. Hmm? Huh? I'm afraid you probably won't be able to take the Fantastic Compass out of here. From what I can tell, everything within this domain is the result of disordered space-time and memories. What was in this brought here? Why can this be taken off? We all came here for different purposes, and everything that's happened here has been in response to our own imaginations and conjecture. Terrifying, but also a miracle. This space... well, it's more than just a space. Whether there's some kind of higher power at work here, I don't know, but... The whole time, it's been reading our minds and responding to us in the form of illusions. Also, according to the history of the chasm, this place must have existed for a very long time. What could have created it? Remember, Jane Snake, just outside space. Oh, that. Yeah, I was there too. Yeah. Huh? Wait a second. It was you that shot that arrow? Who else did you think it was? When the crystal attacks the Jane Snake. Crystal? Didn't attack the chain snake. Does it have anything to do with why the ground split open? That snake is probably a remnant of Conrion's civilization, and crystals are highly effective against it. Maybe there was some sort of opposing reaction between those two forces? <sighs> if so, I'm extremely sorry, everyone. It looks like I might be the one responsible for all of this. No, no! You're just trying to help us and solve the problem! You're definitely not to blame for what happened. <laughs> if you say so. You could almost liken this bizarre space to a living being that throws all kinds of hallucinations at us to deceive us. Everyone we've seen here, and all the paths we've walked, it all ceased to exist 500 years ago. 
Additionally, most of the things here are static. So if we really do manage to escape, then once time starts moving normally again, the fantastic compass will likely disappear. Uh, I won't That's question. actually what I think, too. That's precisely why it's such a miracle that we even found the fantastic compass to begin with. This whole thing feels like we're breaking free from our shackles using a spear that by rights should not exist. This is a long shot, but it may be our last chance. So, whose wish was it that summoned this device? Perhaps it was all of us. Perhaps it was. But maybe there's another reason. Your incredibly strong commitment to your search. It's a shame that we couldn't find your family. But if they were here, I'm sure they'd want nothing more than to see you being rescued from this place. Yeah. I gotta say, it does intrigue me, the way we all ended up here together. If this is fate, then let's grab it in our hands and turn it around. Leave the boss to Ushi and me. We're ready. Traveler, take care of Paimon. Yenfei, you might need to come closer to me when the time comes. Sure. All right. <sighs> Too many words. Stars align, bestow your light. Evil purged by thunder's might. Spirit curbed, new must surge. By dictum divine, heed these words. Do as I command. <laughs> Fantastic Compass is an amplifier. Maintain this energy level, and we may stand a chance. I will maintain the energy flow. Understood. Everyone, stand back. I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yaksha's, we must fight for this world. General Alatus, pulling in! Watch out! This trip may be dangerous, yet you insist on going. I have guarded this place for several hundred years. Only to seek the nameless Yaksha do I request your approval. Hmm. <sighs> It should play a yes, yeah. <clears throat> Is 
Master of Witch. Oh, come on, that one. that's cheating. I thought Madame Ping was the only adept of the new Jean Lee was Rex Lapis. So Shao knows as well. Come on, let's get over with it. Out of the danger zone, that was everyone, close. Blah, blah, blah. I thought you were gonna get left behind. I'm so glad you're okay. That was terrifying. <sighs> I know what you were thinking, but never mind. I know I can't talk you out of a mindset that's been built up over a lifetime. I don't think we were ever going to reach an agreement over the final strategy, but in the end. It was thanks to you that we managed to escape. So, thank you for saving us all. Mm. No, I could not have done this on my strength alone. Oh, thanks to you, to you. Don't mention it. it. Looks like everyone got out unscathed, but you all look pretty exhausted. Rest up. There's no hurry to move on from here. As for me, I'm gonna check the area for any unusual activity. Come on, the left eat will passed out for too long. She's gone. Paimon didn't even get to say thank you. <sighs> Maybe Aelon really doesn't believe she made a contribution. It seems like she's convinced Xiao saved us all, including her, and she doesn't know what to say to that. And since it's not easy to persuade Xiao of anything. Maybe Aelon's just given up trying to talk to him. Xiao, she's criticizing you! I am not! You speak only the truth. I have no quarrel with that. I will keep your words in mind. It's like you got through to him. Really? Well, that's great! I count that as quite an achievement. It was a perilous situation we were faced with underground. And it took every single one of us for any of us to make it out alive. I feel lucky that we didn't lose anyone along the way. Hey, so... Bull Checker still hasn't woken up yet. Surely he's not gonna stay asleep forever. Is he? Let's go Ouch. check on him. Slept like a rock. Ugh, good times. Huh? Uh, what you doing? What's going on? Why are you looking at me like that? Are you in any pain? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh. Mm-hmm. The head? What about it? Is there any brain damage from the impact? You need to tell us if you're not feeling well. You weren't that bright to begin with, so if we add brain damage to the equation... Oh, brother... What the heck are you guys talking about? I'm fine! I had an epic power nap, and now I feel like a million mora! Huh, I feel like I'm forgetting something, though. Uh... Oh, yeah! Wait, weren't we underground? How did we get back up here? It's a long story. We'll fill you in later. Ito, we're indebted to you, Shinobu, and Ushi. We couldn't have escaped this predicament without your help. I don't think Ushi actually helped, but okay. I'm the reason you all got caught up in this. Please accept my apologies, and let me find some way to compensate you for the trouble. It was his fault. Bah, crazy talk! You helped us first! Of course we're gonna return the favor. Hey, if it weren't for you, we'd still be in a Liyue jail cell right now. That's not quite correct. You'd be in jail, not me. Mm. <laughs> Good point. Well, okay then. How about this? 
to celebrate our newfound friendships, how about you let me take you to Leah Harbor for some sightseeing and a proper meal? I like the sound of that. Now that you mention it, whew, I am famished. Oh, I can barely walk here. I'm hungry too, Senpai. Why don't we head straight over? Paimon too! Paimon wants to come too! Oh, we have other things to do. Uh, fine! Alright, well, I promise I'll take good care of your friends from Inazuma. Take it easy, okay? What we just went through was... a lot. <laughs> yeah, this has been tough for anyone. Have fun, you guys. Oh, wait! Yaelon left already. I was gonna treat her to some tea. But I'll take this to mean we're square. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, yeah? Is that right? Wow, okay, I'll let him know. Traveler, Flying Lavender Melon, Ushi has a couple words he'd like you to pass on for him. Hmm? What? Oh, I want to hear this. Me too. Count me in. Translate so Usha said to her. Good idea! Let's do that! Paimon okay. never would have guessed that Ushi was so gentle and thoughtful. Never judge a bull by its cover, huh? It's really a bull that has a cover. Ah, <sighs> sometimes the profoundest truths can also be the simplest. I think Ushi's words may well come in handy. You betcha! Just leave it to us! What? Alright, Ito, Shinobu, Ushi, let's go. Oh yeah! Grub time! Mm. See you next time. <sighs> Ciao. Finished taking care of business? Oh, there wasn't any business. We were just saying goodbye to our friends. <laughs> You're still here. I saw the two Inazumans leave with Yenfei, heading towards Liyue Harbor. Aren't you going with them? We still had some stuff we wanted to say to Xiao. Hmm, I figured as much. I've checked the area. Nothing strikes me as out of the ordinary. Looks like this chapter has come to a close. Now, I just need to take care of the confidentiality issues. <laughs> Let's hope our friends from overseas can keep their mouths shut, for their own sakes. Uh, we got it, we got it! We'll make sure they don't say anything! Please don't hurt them. Oh. You've got a mystery. Hello. You've figured me out, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'll quit pulling your leg. Everyone really rose to the occasion this time. I won't ever forget what we went through. Where could that strange space have come from? And how has it existed down there undetected for so many years? I have to investigate this further. I have a feeling that whatever lies behind all this runs deep. Maybe so deep that no one can be allowed to know. Also, I think someone helped us out at the last minute. They did a good deed, of course, but... Somehow I couldn't tell anything about them. It must have been someone of great importance. <sighs> anyway, these questions will have to wait for another time. I have some follow-up work to do and reports to make. So it's back to Liyue Harbor for me. See you when I see you. Bye, Yaelon! Alright. You knew I was waiting for you? Yes. It was obvious. Really? <laughs> There's somewhere I want to go. If you have the time, you can join me. Where is it? A place that has to do with the Yakshas. I want you to go, but come on. It's gonna end. Where? There?
The temple up ahead was built to remember Pervases. I... I didn't have to have completed this. Did I? Maybe I came here because I had a realization. You mean, back when we were underground? That's to realize. It's hard to put into words. Seeing Bosatius gave me the false impression that I'd traveled back into the past. You could dress up the Yaksha's life and call us valiant warriors, veterans of war. But the truth is, we are slaughterers and nothing more. For Bosatius, perhaps dying in the heat of a great battle was no tragedy. And perhaps the same is true for me. After living so long, to die in the act of saving others would not have been a terrible thing. You know that that seems true. Hmm. So maybe these thoughts are my own form of insanity. Hey, don't say that. So we have something to tell you? Oh yeah, Ushi wanted us to tell you. It's very important. Hmm. Ushi said he has the power to exorcise demons, so people use him to fend them off. But after he met Ito, he's never left his side. He also said that he doesn't have any grand philosophies. He just thinks we should spend our lives around the people who make us happiest. Maybe there aren't so many rules about how we should or shouldn't live our lives in this world after all. So... He hopes you can come to understand that even though the power of a Yaksha may be harmful to other people, it doesn't mean you shouldn't hang out with them. There will always be someone willing to be by your side. Yep. Like people with visions! They have more resistance against your power, right? And... and... Well, anyway, there's lots of people out there who really care about you! <sighs> Suddenly, you sound a lot like Bosatius and the others. They used to talk about how they hoped to live a mortal's life once the world was at peace. I think... I was the only one who didn't think that way. The Bosatius recorded in the Fantastic Compass had lost his sanity. He addressed the people around him as Alatus, Minogius, and others. These are the names of the five Yakshas. I am Alatus. And Minogius is General Capesis. The others are Bonanus, or General Chisapis, and Indarius, or General Musatis. I heard that people call the five of us Yakshas, the Guardian Adepti. <laughs> Osatius and Yelon's ancestors stayed underground to the end, so that space must have read their minds in their last moments as they approached death. Yelon was right in everything she said. Both of our proposals had their drawbacks, and both were sensible suggestions. But the power of that space was far beyond all of us. I couldn't have done all I did without everyone's help. Even in the final moments, it took every bit of my power to break free from that place. Well, Paimon still thinks you were amazing. Yenfei and Yelon are correct. I always prepare for the worst-case scenario. This mindset is deeply rooted in me. Even so, it was the most optimistic solution I could think of. If Rex Lapis hadn't saved me in that moment, I don't think I would have been able to escape. The was only spark back there. In the end, I still had to burden another. But that's how it should be, right? You've known Zhang Li... Uh, Rex Lapis for such a long time, and you've helped him before, so he helped you back. What's the big deal? Supporting each other is all people survive. Perhaps. In the moment that we escaped from that space, I could sense what was left of Bosatius's memory. If I had to say what I gained from this trip, I think that would be it. I think I've felt it too. It's good that one more person will remember him. Mm, Minogius, where have you been? 
Brother Yaksha, you're confused again. I've told you countless times, I am Boyang, a thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Boyang? Boyang? You are Boyang, but who am I? <laughs> Believe me, I want to know as much as you do. Here we are, the two who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. It's a shame. Stay here? No. No, you have to leave. Uh, nonsense, Brother Yaksha. We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? It's too late to have regrets. The seal can't be broken. The seal? Ah, oh, yes. I'm a Yaksha who came here to fight. Brother, brother, are you okay? <laughs> Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. <laughs> We're the only two left. Don't go dying on me. <sighs> you know, today I saw my family down here. Clear as day. What do you think? Am I losing my mind now, too? Hmm. Boyong, do you want to go home? <sighs> I made my decision to leave Zhong Zhao up on the surface. I obviously... <sighs> of course I want to go home. I must have... family, too. You mean brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers and sisters? Yes, but who am I? And where is my family? I'm... Brother! What's wrong? Hang in there. It's just you and me, don't... Don't die before me. Alatus, is that you? Who's Alatus? Your memory's going again. <coughs> I'm sorry. You all have to see me in this state. Brother! Brother! Look! There's someone over there! Who are they? They're... They're my... My... Remember now, I know you. <laughs> My brothers and sisters have come for me, Boyo. You're, you're awake. At least, at least tell me your name. Brother, brother Bosatius. <laughs> hey, Bosatius. <laughs> Bosatius. I... I am Bosatius, and my destiny is to make the ultimate sacrifice. I've said so much today, but I don't need to hold back as much when I talk to you. Have you ever had a moment where you felt like you were aware of your destiny? The potential of life? The approach of death? Whatever it might have been. By now, I have accepted that destiny is the one disaster that the Yaksha know most keenly of all. Where- Xiao? Yeah, I skipped. Are you sure it's okay for you to tell me all this? It matters not. Rex Lapis had said that you are a witness. It is right that the events of the world are relayed to you. Bonanus, Minogius, and Indarius all perished, and only Bosatius' fate was unknown. This has always stung my heart like a thorn. That is why I went to the chasm, despite being fully aware of the danger. Now that I know what happened in the chasm back then, I can finally put this matter to rest. Before we left that place, I picked up a stone. I thought if I could take it out with me, 
I would place it in the temple to Pervases in memory of Bosatius. Unfortunately, the stone did not survive. Pervases died in the Archon War thousands of years ago. He was younger than us, and Bosatius was very sad when he passed. Too many Yakshas have become casualties of battle. We are like a flock of birds, scattered to the four corners of the world. And in the end, as Bonanas said, it's rare for a Yaksha to find repose for their soul. Bosatius, Boyang, and all those soldiers. Heroes. I like that word. Maybe the world will never be free of disaster. But there is good in the world, too. Even the darkest hearts have room for those they cherish. I accept your advice. From this day on, heroes will always look out for each other. Continued. Oh, it's still gonna do. Okay, give control. Yeah. yeah, I'm not doing that today. It's too much stuff. And I'm gonna leave that maybe for you know tomorrow. I'm playing Zelda, so maybe. And third Thursday. Uh, you observe shell. Uh, the word silence no one speaks. Shell says nothing. Complex emotions run, run across his face as he looks as at the temple of Pervacious. Uh, sadness, appointment, relief, they are all there. Yet, are only small part of a far larger whole. His expression is a king to that of a person who has been in out in a blizzard for too long, has seen far too much of it before finally gaining a place of respite from the weather and snow. Okay. I yeah. And do the fighting part of it after what did I get here? No, oh, there's a fear. And barrels trailer. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna end here. It took way too long, yeah. The fighting part may be faster, then I'll deal with it. Yeah.